like you and me All for one to save humanity Fighting off the evil virus entities It's now or never Before long the darkness will arrive Transforming all humans in virus like demons Aliens, enemies of the whole free world Destroyers of the planet Soon the viruses will return to attack the planet, and we have to be ready for anything. I've specifically designed this new propulsion motor for our boat. A motor? Why, are we planning to go somewhere? We're going anywhere we need to. We can't rule out the possibility that the viruses will infect other continents. But Professor, that's crazy. The Sophia is a mere sailboat. We can't take it halfway around the world. Alice, just let him finish. Mm hmm, mm -hmm. The next step is already underway. We're going to install a high-powered satellite dish on the roof of the Sophia. We'll keep track of them. The dish is programmed to pick up alien DNA. That way we'll be able to follow their movements. Are you saying we'll be one step ahead of them? Wow! You don't miss a trick. There's one more thing. You three are a team. These will allow you to coordinate your actions anywhere. Understand? Watches? Why? These aren't normal watches. They act like wireless devices, like powerful cell phones. And they're linked to the satellite. That way, Edward and I can remain in contact with you if there's an emergency. Between the watches, the motor, and the satellite, we're ready. Hmm. Ready for whatever comes next. We cannot fail Sidirno again. We must find the Earth's seven secret oases. I've looked over the files we stole from the Neos and compared them to a map of the planet. We'll start with the first continent. Bring up that coastal region north of the Orient. But the coast extends for thousands of kilometers. We'll never be able to cover an area so vast. Do you use that brain for anything other than worrying? It'll be easier than you think. Sederno never told us how we should go about finding these oases. What are you suggesting? We won't have to do the legwork on our own. I'm sure the locals know the region's folklore very well. They can guide us there. So your brilliant idea is for us to visit thousands of homes and knock on doors like encyclopedia salesmen. Is that it? Huh? Ah! Yeah! Ah! 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 Keep silent. I know exactly what I'm doing. Hey, pass the ball! Over here! Pick it straight! <laughs> 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 oh. Oh. You boys are too good for me. Guess I'm not a very good goalie. That's enough, boys. <laughs> huh? Huh? We need to get right home. There's a storm coming. And I don't want the three of you playing out in the rain. Listen, boys, your mother is right. We can come back tomorrow, okay? Hmm? Uh -huh.
Check the second level. We can't afford a spill. Oh. <gasps> Break down the pipes! This water is so clean, it's slowing us down! The polluted ocean will strengthen our bodies as we reach the shore. It looks like the viruses are off the coast of North Africa. We go there. But we haven't even tested your new propulsion motor. There's just no time. But it could be dangerous. Neela, if we don't leave this instant, millions of human lives could be lost. Oh. You're right, Edward. You just start the engine and I'll go down to tell the kids what's happening. Hmm. We're moving. But where the heck are we heading? To Africa. Hmm? Your father's satellite picked up viruses on the coast of Africa. That means we're gonna have to fight them, doesn't it? <sighs> if we can get there in time. What should we do? Just get some rest, pal. You'll need strength to fight them. Great, now where's my personal space? I'm afraid you don't get your own room here. You joke? George, this isn't a cruise ship. We don't have much space available. Yeah, of course I've got my own room on board, but there's only space enough for one inside. I'm afraid you'll just have to make space for someone. Ah, you mean Alice will have to stay with me? No, I mean you and George. Alice will be bunking with me and your father will stay in his laboratory. <laughs> yeah, don't even think about hogging the blankets. And for your sake, it better not be Snoresville inside. <laughs> Good night. We must find the local wise man. What's happening out there? I've never seen a storm like this. Oh. I'm scared. But it's just a little rain. Tell me, is yellow the color of rain? Now there's nothing to be afraid of, boys. Huh? What's that sound? Now lower your voices before you wake up your mother. I'll just go outside and have a look around for you. Don't do that! Stay inside! It could be dangerous! <laughs> okay then, I'll take a look tomorrow morning. I thought the worst of the storm was over, but the winds just aren't letting up. Uh, maybe wise old Abraham knows what's wrong. Wise man! Yes. Any more questions? You have served your purpose, wise man. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> ah, wake up! Wake up! Wise Abraham! Please wake up! Are you all right? Please tell me what happened to you. The upside-down ship. Horrible. An ecological nightmare. The viruses must have attacked that oil rig off the coast. We got here too late? I don't think so. I don't think they came all the way out here just to destroy the coast. What are they doing? Maybe they came here for a reason. Maybe they're looking for something important. Go away! Mm. Leave here now! Mm -hmm. Oh. My name is Edward Amaldi. We just came here from the city of Octavia. Perhaps we can- We don't need your help. And what have you done to our village? Take your creatures home! What creatures? Can you show them to us? The creatures who attacked our town! Listen to me. Our city was destroyed by them too. We're on a mission to get rid of them. Hideous monsters with incredible powers. That's who attacked your village. Somehow they came with a storm. 
They're viruses from an alien world, capable of committing atrocities ten times worse than this. Is this all the damage they did? Unfortunately, they did worse. Hmm. Are you a doctor? Yes, I am. This man is in a deep coma. A virus was in this hut. But he hasn't transformed like all the others. Maybe he didn't transform because they have an ulterior motive. Well, perhaps they're looking for something. They wanted information. Abraham was conscious when I found him, and he said something like, the upside-down ship. That's important. That certainly means something. I know where there's an upside-down ship. We can take you to one. <sighs> but why would they come all the way out here? Look, from what I've read, deserts are supposed to be crossed on camels, and I, for one, don't have a hump. You sure picked a fine time for a break. Come on! Seth and Packy say the ship is just a little further. You believe them? You know, kids say a lot of things. You know, George, sometimes you just have to trust people. Hmm? Here! Over here! <laughs> That's the upside-down ship! <laughs> Listen, Seth and Packy, are you sure? Sure I'm sure. It's right over there. See? But that's a sand formation. It's just a mirage. You mean we came all the way out here and broke our backs for some kind of optical illusion? There has to be an explanation. Otherwise, why would he make a point to mention an upside-down boat? Well, when it comes to a mirage, the closer you get to it, the quicker it'll vanish. For once, I have to say I agree with you, David. Let's head back. Then I'll just have to go. Looks like a mirage. Unbelievable. It is a ship. This particular sand formation just made it look like a mirage. But why was it so important to those creatures? Yes, ah. the virus made him reveal its location. What does it mean? Here's your ship. The name on it says Rodinia. That must be the clue. <laughs>